What's going on, what's going on, what's going on? It's your boy Ty, and today we're gonna go over five things that I wish I knew before becoming a profitable book forex trader. All right, so let's get right into this. I wanna know also, how long have you guys been trading? Let me know in the comment section right now, right after smashing that like button. Let's get it, Trey Gang! Hey man, big shout out Trey Gang. Hey, we've been growing, we've been growing. So just super excited, man, and loving the growth of the entire community. So I keep blessing you guys with these fire videos. Let's get right into it, all right? So number one, I wish I would have knew to really truly be patient. Now, a lot of people will struggle with patience because at the end of the day, like what you guys don't know is I had to take a lot of personal development. And what I mean by taking per uh, personal development is like finding out, little, I was paying for like little mindset training courses and psychology stuff and things like that. Uh, looking at different um, books and things like that. So they're probably like, yo, what books were you reading? Well, I read Naked Forex. What other books were you reading? I read The Secret, okay? And then I watched the movie, The Secret. That really got my mindset right. So a lot of what I did to really get me to the next level was just reading, watching movies, and really digesting it personal development development information to really take me to the next level all right like reading timothy ferris the four hour work week stuff like that that stuff really gets in your mind and helps you you know move to the next level the 10x rule by grant cardone all right so now you're like yo why are you giving us all these books because like i said the number one thing that i wish i would have knew before becoming a profitable for an exchange trader is to be patient okay and then trust my setup and number one i wouldn't have been able to learn patience if it wasn't for me developing my mindset to be able to become patient all right so i came in the game just like a lot of you guys came in the game one to just flip accounts i've seen a lot of people flipping accounts flipping 500 to 5 trillion and i wanted to be a part of the 500 to 5 trillion as well and i said man i want to be just like them so what did i do i follow along those same methods now a lot of those people aren't profitable they're just trying to rush through um <clears throat> flipping accounts and they were account flippers you know but long term and the long term sustainability of their investing game like they're not around anymore okay so if i was just patient and i was just like okay let me just trust my own setup let me not worry about what's going over to the left let me not was uh, let me not worry about what's going over to the right then shit I would have been profitable much, much sooner. Okay, so that was the first thing. Just to reiterate, be patient and trust your setup. Trust your gut. If your gut says, hey, this is how where you need to go, then that's where you need to go. If your gut is like, oh, price is at support and it hasn't broke and you think it's about to buy, okay, trade what you see. If you feel like that's what it is, it's like seeing an open shot on a basketball court. What are you going to do? You're going to take the shot. You're not going to sit there and think about it. Oh, should I take the shot today? Should I come back tomorrow? Take the shot. You're not thinking about it when you're playing in the game. So why come to this game and then start using your brain and thinking? <laughs> you're supposed to trade what you see. You know what I'm saying? You don't even have to think. You just trade what you see. Simple, simple, right? So number two, risk management and slow scale. Like I was telling you, I was a part of the whole uh, cap flipper bunch, okay? I used to scout baby back in the day. That was my thing. I used to scalp heavy and also I used to do binary options. So I came in the game with a scalper's mentality, with a flipper's mentality. Binary options, you hit, I think it's like a 70%, sometimes it's like 110%. So you be, you'll get between 70 and 110%, uh, meaning if you have like, let's say you have like a $50 option and then it was profitable, then you'll make like $57 on top of that. So then it'd be like 107, you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of how, how that games work. You can go look at binary options and more about that. It's not a binary options. I was just telling you about the whole risk management and the scaling process. So like I said, I had a flippers mentality. So if my risk management was on point, let me tell you what I would have done. I would have just slowly scaled up. I would have slowly just took the $10 a day, took the $20 a day, took the $100 a day and just been okay with it because next month I could be at $200 to $300 a day, okay? And then be okay with it. All right, so then you're like, well, $100 a day, you know, let's just say times 25. Let's say we do 25 trading days. You don't trade the whole seven days. Let's say you do just 25 trading days out of the month. That's gonna be $2,500 at $100 a day. At $200 a day, what is that? $5,000, okay? At $300 a day, what is that? $7,500. So I didn't think about it like, oh, I'm putting an extra $5,000 um, to my income every single month, or I'm putting an extra, you know, 
four to ten thousand dollars a month to my income every month and then when i was first starting i wasn't thinking oh there's this is a way where i can make an extra one thousand every single month i wasn't thinking for the entire month i was thinking for how can i turn 50 into a five trillion like everybody else and additionally, that's what killed me. So that's what stopped me from being profitable. I would get in profit, I would be making money, but then I would be giving it right back just because I was in the account flipper mentality. Okay, instead of like instead of using the same lot size over and over and over and just, I, I could be in the same lot size, you know what I'm saying, now all month just because at low risk and maximum gain. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I figured out, hey, work smarter, not harder. And we'll get into that. You know what I'm saying? I figured out low risk and maximum gain. So super simple cut out the noise okay slowly scale don't be afraid to just take those don't be afraid to take that 100 every single week if you haven't been making 100 a week in the market be blessed and be thankful that you're able to make that extra 100 a week in the market okay that's like point blank period be blessed and be thankful that you're able to to make that extra thousand dollars a week in the market okay and be okay with that and then once you're grateful and thankful for that the universe is gonna start blessing with, blessing you with a lot more. It's I, look, literally, it's like the laws of wealth. This is beyond forex. Okay, you can trade, you can make a little money. Okay, you got shit money management. Now you gotta figure out how to get your mind right. How do you get your money management right? You get your mind right. All right. So next, we're gonna get into uh, number three, which is cut the noise. So like I said, when I came in the game, I used to watch a lot of account flippers, man, especially when it was hot, like Forex was hot as hell on Facebook, all right? I know a lot of people are like, oh, Facebook is dead. Facebook ain't dead. Don't let them play, play you like that. Like, Facebook is still alive and booming, all right? But I remember when like I first came in the game and I used to be in all the Forex groups. I probably had like 70 Forex groups that I was literally in. I'd be in there talking, posting ideas, taking signals, literally doing everything just so much noise watching watching the news okay watching bloomberg and taking in all their ideas and then going to um my fx book and then taking in all their ideas and then going to forex factory posting a little bit on forex factory sometimes before i was posting i was just watching the the, the conversation in the forum so this i'm taking in so much noise but just being a part of that i mean it really helped me grow you know but i just I took in so much noise and so much from other people that I never really had a chance to think for myself. The moment I start thinking for myself in the market, it was over. I was like, oh shit, I don't have to wait for you. I don't have to wait for you. I can just go be the shark that I am and move. And I was like, that's ultimately, that's that's all I wanted to do. That's why I came in this game to it, like, Forex allows you to become yourself or become more of who you already are. So naturally, like I'm already a shark. All right, naturally, that's already my vibe. That's already my nature. I naturally like to eat shit, okay? But at the end of the day, like this game makes me control that, nat that natural, you know what I'm saying, how sharks move. And it's just like, I gotta be sure. I gotta be like, hold on. But if I'm sure and I'm like, mm, stomach rumming, I'm not about to sit there and think, mm, is this food? Fuck no. I just get in the market and just move with the trend, okay? Trade with the trend and get rich. That's in that one song, uh, Forex Bag, talked by me. So you can pick up a lot of this, the ideals and a lot of the concepts on how to really get cracking in the market, in the music, which is funny. Like you can get rich listening to the music. You feel me? Cut out the noise and put in the good stuff. That's how it works. All right. So number four, okay, number four, and this is the, this is what I thought. You feel me? Really, 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 really helped me um, get to the next level. Working smarter, not harder. So like I said, I used to scalp. I used to scalp. I used to get cracking. I do have friends who still scalp, still smack their 20 pips, still smack their 30, 40 pips and be out of the market for the whole day. You know what I'm saying? But they got a system that works for them. All right. Now, to work smarter, not harder, it's literally to be more prepared. Come to the come to the game with your plan. Okay, I know, like Mike Tyson said, everybody has a plan until they get hit. And that's true, but see, in Forex, like, just having a plan to literally help you get to that next level, okay? And what I mean is this, just check me out. Just, just you know, ride with me for a second, ride with me for a second. Look, having a plan to help you get to the next level. You come in the market, you follow your plan. Okay, my goal, uh, my goal is to make X amount a day. But let's say you're not even monetary, you don't have a monetary goal, you got a goal in pips. So you can go get pips from multiple different pairs until you've collected your 50 pips for a day. You can, you can, you can come in the market and snipe trades, like, oh, I can go scalp until you get your, your, the pips that you want. Or you can play the long game, go to the higher time frames right now. This is a four hour time frame. I was 
trading US 30, or I'm still trading US 30, okay? This is four hour time frame, I'm just really just watching this shit do what it does. Like, I don't have to sit here and watch it, but you know, for the premise of the video, fuck it, we can watch some charts, you know what I'm saying? Um, you see it's a little bit clean right here, that's only because I'm about to play the game. In a minute, like, I'm about to drag this screen from here over to this middle part, or I'll drag this screen from, from the right all the way to this third screen over here, and literally just, if I want to look at the market and manage my money, okay, cool. You feel me? But other than that, I could just be over here on this screen just really getting cracking and playing the video games and stuff like that. Working smarter, not harder. Now I'm not looking at the money. I'm not thinking about it. I'm, I'm giving my I'm giving my, my trades a, a time to play out. Okay, I'm in a trade. Now I see, okay, I'm looking at it on the floor. I'm looking at it daily. I've already entered. Now it's just me managing it. Now I have to distract myself and find something else to do so I can manage this trade. Okay, well, I need to go do this. Now I need to go outside. Now I need to go exercise. Now I need to go shit play a video game or something you know what i'm saying just so i can that's me working smarter not harder so you have to find something for yourself to work smarter and not harder so you're not looking at the charts all day so you're not under here all day that's that's the whole goal of forex to get your freedom back so if you want to work smarter in the foreign exchange find a way to be able to enter trades and then once you're entered into the trade all you have to do is manage it first is getting in the trade and then it's managing the trade let's say that one more time First is getting into the trade and then it's managing that trade. All right, so that's work smarter, not hard. And then the next thing that I wish I knew before becoming a profitable Forex trader was number five, and that's greed to make you or break you. All right, and shit, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Like I still st uh, struggle with greed today. And to be honest, I probably struggle with greed my whole life. I, I'm naturally fucking greedy. I naturally, that's just natural. Like I want, I want, I want. Like it's naturally, like it's as a human, you know? And it's not necessarily the materialistic stuff. It just like wanting, to, even for myself, like I got, a, I got a greedy obsession with trying to, well not trying, but with growing to the next level. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I got an unhealthy obsession with growing to the next level. I want to go to the next level so bad. So I put in the work, you know what I'm saying? But greed to make you or break you. So that's why I was, that's the first part. That's greed making me. Like I said, I had an unhealthy obsession with going, growing to the next level. Meaning I'm going to go do the personal development. I'm going to, you know, stay up later to, 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 to knock out the videos and edit this stuff or, you know, send it off to an editor. I'm going to figure out a way so I can increase my, increase my vocabulary inside of the game that I'm playing in. Increase my knowledge inside of the, the game that I'm playing in you know what I'm saying so that's how greed can make you but then how it can break you is okay yeah you're up in profit and you don't follow the cardinal rule and it's crazy because I got a song about this you know what I'm saying it's winning profit trailer stop it hey winning profit winning profit trailer stop loss stop loss stop loss stop loss trading with a stop loss stop loss stop loss stop loss stop loss trading with a stop loss Hey, hey, when the profit trying to stop it, when the profit, when the profit trying to stop it, hey, when the profit trying to stop it, when the profit, when the profit trying to stop it, hey, when the profit, when the profit trying to stop it, when the profit, when the profit trying to stop it, when the profit, when the profit trying to stop it, when the profit, when the profit trying to stop it, hey, you know, and it's crazy because the song starts off like this, like the song starts off like this, it's like stop loss, stop loss. Stop loss, stop loss, trading with a stop loss, uh, stop loss, stop loss, stop loss, stop loss, trading with a stop loss. I mean, but see, once the music is in your mind, you're always going to remember when the proper, when the proper trailer stop is. So when you're trading, this is how greed doesn't break you. Like once you go on profit and you get to the point where you're like, okay, I can break even, go ahead and move that stop up. Oh, move your stop up and see that's what's gonna be able to help you just manage that trade now you're not worrying about losing money because you can't lose money you at least broke it even or you at least got a little bit of profit so you're not losing money now you have everything in the game okay or let's say a trade is, is going bad on you and you're like oh man I feel like I should get out okay then cut that shit go minus just say you lost that one trade and go find a new trade there's 200 plus 300 plus different uh different instruments that you can trade so you lost a trade on one instrument there's a hell of more instrument instruments that you can go and get involved in okay so like i said these five things really really if i do these things before i like was traded forex it really really become it profitable if i really had this in my mind and really just established that mindset if i could teach you anything on on my way up this is what i would teach you right here the five things that I wish I knew 
before becoming a for, uh, profitable forex trader all right now it's your boy ty you guys already know how i rock this man but you already know i've been going up on the twitter lately so i go ahead and probably tag my twitter somewhere down here or something like that you guys can tap into the twitter but once you tap into the twitter all right i've been giving uh, those forex signals those live vip forex signals so if you guys want those vip extra vip you know what i'm saying go tap in my twitter also go run up my streams and a lot of people been like yo ty what you been on like man i've been on go run up my streams <laughs> well nah you can go check me out i'm on spotify uh apple music google play all of that even on youtube music so all you guys gotta do is literally click the play button you're like yo what do you want in exchange for these fire ass videos and for all this knowledge for you to listen to the music to learn how to trade and become a profitable forex trader you know and really that's that's what i want all right so it's your boy ty and i'm out this bitch get it